Financial freedom can mean having enough money to live life on your terms. However, no one wants to live on an insanely low income. Why spend more energy trying to save on small expenses than you devote to working and earning? And how do you know when you're financially free? Breaking up your financial goals into smaller accomplishments can keep you on track while keeping the process more manageable. The following are the eight levels of financial independence, with number eight providing you the ability to live the ultimate life in terms of money. My name is Chris, and I help teach people about money, personal finance, and investing. If you're interested in improving your financial future, make sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the like button if this video is helpful. Level 1. Having some money saved. The first level of financial freedom is having built up an emergency fund. Ideally, this will be after paying off any high interest debt. Unfortunately, living paycheck to paycheck is the reality of millions of Americans. According to the Federal Reserve's report on the economic well-being of U.S. households, 40% of households could not cover a $400 unexpected expense. Poor money management can really be a problem. Most of us will have some unexpected things pop up throughout the year, such as car repairs, medical bills, or even a loss of income. Having an emergency fund will come in handy during those types of situations, bringing you to the first level of financial independence. Being able to cover sudden expenses is a huge step in the right direction. Level 2. Enough money to take a break. Level 2 financial freedom can be defined as being able to make working optional, at least temporarily. Saving enough money to quit your job forever can be a massive undertaking, but that's not to say it's impossible. It can take a little while, but accumulating enough money to be able to take some time away from work is a big accomplishment towards total financial freedom. Level 2 does not mean you can quit your job indefinitely, but it sure is a good feeling to know you can stop working for a little while. If you took a break from working while on level 1, you'd probably be in the streets. Having this level 2 amount of money could allow you to start a business, take a reduction in pay for a better opportunity in another field of work, or advance your education. You might want to save up for an extended vacation where you will do some traveling before you're physically unable to. You might dream of spending a month or two in a foreign country or an extended road trip. Level 3. Enough to be comfortable and still safe. This is a bit more about enjoying your life and having the money to do it while you're still working. There's an immense sense of relief when you are earning enough money to save, doing many of the things you enjoy, and still having extra money at the end of the month. You'll still need to work in order to continue building wealth, but having money left over after paying all the bills and also allocating some funds towards investments will put your mind at ease. These funds can be used to move up your financial freedom date, or you could simply choose to use that discretionary income on an item or experience of your choice. This, of course, assumes you avoid increasing your lifestyle spending by moving up in-house, buying more expensive vehicles, and taking more elaborate trips. Level 4. Enough to not have to work as much. What many people desire is more flexibility with their schedules. Freedom of time and financial independence go hand in hand. Together, they are about leaving the rat race to follow your passion or spend more time with family and not sacrifice your financial well-being. It could come in the form of more paid time off, flex time, perhaps working remotely on occasion, or just not having to work that much at all. Not having to take a day off from work just so you can visit the dentist or take your kid to the doctor would be a huge benefit for some. This level of freedom could come from a job, but those who are self-employed tend to be more likely to adjust their schedules and choose when and how much they're willing to work. At this point, you're investing plenty for retirement and then some. Level 5. Enough for a basic retirement. For those of you looking to retire early, think about what a frugal retirement would look like. Could you move to a place with a lower cost of living? Would you give up going out to dinner on a regular basis? Work towards a nest egg that will support your chosen economic lifestyle. You'll probably decide against moving to that cabin in the woods without running water, but it might be nice to know that you could get by if you were to do that. If you have enough money saved to at least cover some standard of living in your early retirement, it will also influence other life choices you make along the way. Would you lease a new luxury car if you knew it meant you would have to work a few more years? Downsizing your house may or may not look appealing if it meant you could retire now rather than in 5 or 10 years. If you cut your housing costs from $3,000 to $2,000 per month, that's about $300,000 less you'll need invested. Level 6. Enough to retire comfortably. Assuming you're doing pretty well and are happy with your current standard of living, what would you need to maintain that standard of living in retirement? What if you want to spend more money than what you're currently spending when you retire? Travel expenses are likely to go way up if you enjoy traveling due to the extra time off and flexibility you have. 
You'll probably find yourself going out to eat more often, golfing, enjoying other hobbies, and finding other things to spend money on. Knowing you're on track to accumulate a nest egg to support that lifestyle is a big win. Gold medals go to those who have accumulated enough assets or passive income streams to be in a position to retire well. Some people get a thrill out of being frugal like Mr. Money Mustache, but others see retirement as a time to relax, let loose within reason, and not have to worry about each penny. After all, what's the point of retiring if you can't truly enjoy it? Level 7. Enough for a luxurious retirement. If you didn't spend 40, 60 or more hours per week at work, what would your dream life look like? Would it include things like traveling more and spending more time with friends and family? Traveling the world, flying first class and staying in nice hotels doesn't come cheap, and neither does a second home on the beach or in the mountains. What would really bring joy into your life? Maybe enough money to support a fairly luxurious lifestyle and help your family out now and then? How great would it feel knowing you're on track to have enough money to retire and be able to live your dream life? What's stopping you from getting there before you're 65 or 70 years old? Even if you're not the type that seeks luxury, achieving this level of financial freedom will bring another level of comfort. Level 8. More money than you could ever spend. This is the most exclusive level of financial freedom. Hopefully, your financial freedom plan will allow your money to outlive you, as it should. Having more income than you expected to spend is great. Building enough wealth so that you could not possibly spend all of it is another. You know you're at this level when you have the ability to purchase anything you want. The cost of things doesn't even cross your mind at this point. This could include owning multiple luxury homes, a private jet, or a mega yacht. This group will likely be filled with people who either won a large lottery, inherited a fortune, or who are founders of companies like Bill Gates, Warren Buffett, or Jeff Bezos. Even if they went on a spending spree, they would still have a hard time spending all of it. In fact, most of your energy would probably be spent thinking how you could possibly spend that amount of money. Most of us won't end up reaching this level for one reason or another, but that shouldn't stop you from trying if that's something you'd like to achieve. Take a look at where you think you fall on the levels of financial freedom and use it as motivation to keep moving towards your most important financial goals. While you might love what you do, it's almost guaranteed that you'll be happier working when it's a choice. You'll take comfort knowing that you could always retire and enjoy a pleasant lifestyle, especially later in life. Most of us have different ideas of what financial freedom really means, and that's because it's a broad term. Use these milestones as a map to help gauge where you are, encourage you, and give you an idea of where you're trying to go.